Hi, welcome to the Urban Kanish video podcast. Today we're going to talk about running the internet in a text web browser. Now, why would you want to do this? You can look at websites, you could read news, you could do all kinds of things that you normally surf on the web with in a link in a text web browser so that you can not have flashy ads or videos or other distractions. And also, if you're in an environment with bad Wi-Fi, you can use this method to surf the internet with very low bandwidth. So I would consider that a big bonus. So the, the two programs are going to go over, one's called Lynx L-Y-N-X, and the other one is called Lynx L-I-N-K-S. They're both very similar, but one allows you to use tabs and the other one does not. So the first thing we're going to do is, if you have a Mac, um, follow these instructions, and if you have a Linux computer, you can wait until this part is done and then we'll go over the two programs. So with the Mac, you can navigate to brew.sh. If you don't have brew installed, this is something that you want to do. So to simply install the homebrew program, you're going to copy this text and you're going to install it in your terminal. So I've already done this on this computer. So what you're going to do is type in sudo and then you're going to copy that link. So again, that was brew.sh, and you're going to copy this link. Once you do that, get back with us here, and then we'll continue. So once that program is installed, now you can install Linux programs on your Mac. So it's really easy to do. Type in brew, install, and then you type in the name of the program. So I'm going to type in Pine, which is an email program, and we're just going to see how this works. I already have links installed, so let's go with that, and we'll check it out. So it looks like there's no formula for Pine. So let's just get into the programs. So if you're in a Linux computer now, all you have to do is open up your terminal, and you're going to type in, oh, I'm sorry, you're going to, first you have to install it. So to install it in Ubuntu or something similar, sudo apt get install, and then you're going to type in links. And then once you're done with that, the other program is L-I-L-I-N-K-S. So that's the two, those are the two programs. So once you do that, get back with us. So now let's just assume that everyone's on the same page. So we're gonna first program we're gonna try is links. So LYNX launches links, brings you to the links homepage. So to navigate, you press the space bar, and you could also use your arrow keys to go up and down. And you could also go to the last page or the current, you know, the, the forward page by hitting right and left cursor keys. So to go to a web page, we're gonna type in G. So just to start off, let's go to Google News. So we'll go news.google.com. Now it gives you an option of following or accepting cookies. You could either always accept them, never accept them, or just accept them temporarily. So I'm gonna say never. And then it's gonna bring us to the website. So you can look for a story, or I can also go to these links at the top and go to follow any of those links. Let's just say that I wanted to go to, let's see. Let's just pick the first article. So I'm gonna grab that. And then the same thing it's gonna, well, it didn't ask me that time. So here's the article. Same thing, never. Now, when you're in a page, if you hit space, it'll go to the next page. But if you're on a text entry field and you hit space, it's just going to enter text, the, the space for the text. So you're going to go down with the arrow key to the next link, and then you can hit space. So let's find our article. So here we go, I think. Or is that a blurb from another? 
Okay, so here we have Washington, D.C., June 5th, etc. So if I wanted to go back, I can hit my back key once more, once more. Whoops, now it's back to the beginning. I'll go to the other one. So another, th let's go to a different page. So we'll go to Yahoo News. So news, well, let's go to finance.yahoo.com. One of those sites that I've been using for a long time, probably 20 years or more, and I still go to the site. It's actually pretty good for, for Yahoo, even though Yahoo is the dark ages. So you can kind of look for articles the same way. I actually find that the Yahoo News is a little bit more friendly with links than Google. So we'll wait for that to load up. And it looks like I missed a link here somewhere. Or it could have been a video. Some of these news sites have videos and you have to kind of navigate that way. And so there's our article. So if I wanted to go to a bookmark or add a bookmark, there's some features in here also. So I'm going to go to, so I'm just going to grab something that I want to bookmark. So I'm going to go to Drudge Report to get all the sensational headlines. Okay, so once Drudge Report comes up, I can you know I could surf the page, but I want to add a I want to add a bookmark. So I'm going to say A for Add, and then it asks you if you want to save the document or link. I'm going to say link because otherwise it'll grab the first thing that I'm touching and it'll. Um, grab just that. So I wanted to grab the page. So I'm going to say L. Whoops. Actually, I'm wrong here. Well, let's go, go ahead and do that. So add, and then I'm going to say document. There we go. Sorry about that. Drudge Report 2019. So once now, of course, I can look for more links that I could read. Or I could just simply go to my bookmarks. So Let's say I have a bunch of bookmarks already set up. To visit the bookmarks, you're going to hit V. So in here, you see all, all my bookmarks. I only have two. I want to keep the drudge. I want to get rid of Q. Whatever Q is, I don't want it. So to do that, I'm going to have to edit my bookmarks. Right now, I can't do that because I haven't properly set up links yet. So let me go back to Options. Now in options, I can I can save all my options once I go to this save options to disk, hit the enter button. And for my editor, I'm gonna type in one of my editors. So this one, I'm gonna choose Pico. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna accept my changes. Okay, so it's saved. So now when I wanna edit this thing, I hit E. Now I'm going to surf down here until I find the link that I don't want. And there it is, the Quancast thing, which is some ad or something. I don't really know. So we're just going to get rid of that. Just HTML, so it's creating a list. So I'm going to say X. Oops. Yes, save. There's my bookmark. So now I'm back to Drudge Report. So now I have my, my bookmark saved. Let's go to another. Let's go back to the Google News. We're going to add a bookmark for that. That doesn't look right. I must have fat fingered something. Okay, so this is my Google News page. So I want to add a bookmark now. So I'm going to say add A, and then I want to hit D, save my Google News. So now we'll go back and check our bookmarks. So I hit V. Here's my links. 
So I go back to Drudge Report. So now you can go to all the sites that you read. You could bookmark them and then you can come back at any time. So let's check out the links, the other links web browser. So I'm going to say Q for quit. Yes. So now I'm going to type in L-I-N-K-S. Now this one's a little bit different and it's a little bit more advanced, although to be honest with you, maybe because I've been using links for so many years, but I actually enjoy, well, L-Y-N-X. I've been using L-Y-N-X for a long time, so I actually like that better. But this one is a little bit more advanced. When you go in, you're not going to see anything, but it works the same way. You hit G. So now I'm going to type in Google. Allow. my filter on there so it wasn't allowing it but now it is same thing if you're in a field you know you have to so you hit space pretty much the same arrangement so we'll go to a article so here's our article you get the idea so let's check out a different site. We'll go to, let's go to Yahoo News. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, there's actually some things at work that I don't wanna bring up. You know, you're worried about images. If you can install a program on at work, you can definitely utilize this and not have to worry about images that are going to get you in trouble something gross like that i don't even want to look at you know you could just click on your articles and everything's great so we went over both programs um, please let me know your comments below um, i would encourage you to check out other programs that you could run in the console i think it's a very powerful tool and it's also very good to navigate through linux and to um you know kind of know the the back end of your computer whether you're using linux or, or or a mac it's basically the same thing it's a unix type setup so um let me know if you have any comments or questions and uh do you think this is a good idea do you think it's just antiquated and you can't live without the the pictures and the colors um Put your comments below and uh, we'll get some conversation going. Uh, have a nice day and uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed and follow my other videos. Goodbye.